Hello everybody, it is I, your favorite VTuber Android Arrowhead here, back with some more Valhalla. And boy oh boy, is it ideally gonna get slightly more upbeat. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I do admire the, um, the drama side of all this, because I like, I like it, but like, man, it's gotten sad recently. I am your favorite VTuber Android Arrowhead here. And let's go. I keep forgetting that part of the intro, because I seem to think everyone knows who I am, but they don't. So, we're starting anyway. I'm going to update too. Lilim receiving mysterious messages. The messages have suddenly stopped and everything is normal again. Still, we can't help but wondering what the... We can't stop wondering what was the deal. Yeah, the Alice Rabbit stuff keeps happening a bit. Is it sexist to have an army of robot women? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Kanye Vania went through demons went through demons the de demilitarization before. What the fuck? Huh. No, no, come back to the title screen. I'm trying to exit out of the bit. Yoru Yuri. Yuru Yuri. Oh, I get it. That's the ha ha ha. Best anime or whatever. I still haven't seen Yuru Yuri. Um, let's see. Let's go to work. Oh, yeah, it's the Christmas party. That's what I was waiting on. Evening. Dude, I told you to come in from the. I told you to come in the nicest clothes you have. You came in your uniform. These are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Gil are in your uniforms too. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. What about that kilt you wore that one time? I'm still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. People depress me. Well, everything's in place back there. Huh, almost here. You know, there was a time when people greeted others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jew, greet her properly. Welcome to Baha- <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Man, if that's not a sign you need to ease- bleh. Man, if that's not a sign you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. But shut up. It's become a reflex. Wait. Alma also came in a usual attire. Why are you saying anything to her? Ribbed sweaters get a free pass. Why? Silly question. Never mind. And Jamie came earlier, too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have ice? I'm trying to take it out of the bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh. What were you doing back there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer? The... what? I bought it three days ago. It's amazing. It looks just like a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. That. It looks just like a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. Put the food inside it, press a button, and watch as it warms the food up just like a microwave. It's an infomercial bobble, though. Really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One long move, and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. So, you've bought infomercial stuff, too? Haven't you? It's at the very least a good idea for gifts. I'm not sure about that at all, honestly. I mean... Is it? Because in my experience, infomercial stuff is usually like... Like, trash to pieces and shovelware. Not a lot of great stuff there, it's usually just... You know, like, remember, like, the Snuggie? The thing with, like, it was like the blanket with sleeves? And it was never something that could actually cover you, and they were all blue? What was the deal with that? Why are, like... Are we really trying to say that, like, infomercial stuff is actually pretty decent? Because I don't think it is. I would, in fact, go the opposite direction. Most shovel... Most, like, infomercial stuff just... 
It sucks ass. I think that's kind of the point. People parody it. Is it a... I mean, I guess a, like a joke gift it could work. I wouldn't mind giving someone a Snuggie as a joke gift. Dynamic entry! Finally, at least somebody came after me. Is it weird that I've already heard that three times in the last hour? <laughs> For some reason, I found that funny. Alright. <sighs> oh, don't be like that. She's not saying it out of malice or anything. She just found it funny. You're taking her side now? Jealous? You wish. You don't need to fight for me. We're not. I'll go check the microwave wires thingy. I'm starting to get hungry. Great, mm, great idea. Back. Oh. Oh, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late. Hey, Jay. See? That's how you greet people. You shut it. I I'll go help. I'll... Um, uh, I'll go help sweater pups. Something wrong? She's not good with dogs. Ah. Uh. Alright. We're all here so we can start. Yo, Anchorage. Alma. I know what I said. Yo, Anchorage. Alma. I know what I said. That's the, I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can't you speed it up? I've used those microwave wire things before. It's either warm nicely but slowly, or burn that bitch. So, how long? Fifteen minutes or so. A bell will ring when the time comes. We need to kill some time then. Hmm. Alright, let's play truth or dare. What? I'll pass. Games are for kids. I'm in. Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun. As long as that must... Uh, sounds fun. Oh, oh, sounds fun. As long as that mutt stays away from me. That'll make the time pass faster. I'll uh, You'll play. <laughs> That's some authority right there. Oh, they got even like a little special thing set up for it. Nice. Alright then, rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick either truth or there. After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We go like that until food's done. What about punishment games? Those are a hassle. Just issue new questions or challenges until the other person complies. That said... Jim! Yes? You start. Pick someone. Oh, um... Let's see... Ooh! I get to pick? Who, who do I... Who do I want here? I think Jill would most want Dana, but I'm personally more interested in, like, these two, just Dorothy and Alma, just by virtue of the fact that I'm sure they've got some weird shit to say, especially Dorothy. I love Dorothy. Uh, let's go Dana, then. Okay, boss. I picked Dare. Dare? Um... Suplex skill. D suplex who? Sucko! Alright, Killian Newt, get up! Uh, who? Truth or dare? Um, d dare? I dare you to lift Jamie with one hand. You just wanted to ask me something, right? Okay then, yeah, true. Did you or did you not have a brief stint as a bodyguard to a certain Madame Laverne six years ago? Yeah. Did you or did you not have a brief stint as a bodyguard to a certain Madame Laverne six years ago? Huh? Six years ago? 
I don't think so. I don't even know any Madame Laverne. Alright, that's one possibility off the list. Alright then, um... Me! Pick me! You, the dog. Come on! Dare! I dare you! No, I'm the one that dares you. Bring it on! Um... Roll. Sir, yes sir! You're not rolling. Sir, yes sir! Yeah, whatever, you did it. We're here! Alright, Jay, truth or dare? Truth. It is things in your head, your ears. My... Huh? Your twin tails. Your twin tails. Oh, uh, no, they're not. Oh, I see. What? I wonder how long till the food is done. Uh, I... You know, Dorothy wanted to pick her, and I really like her, so yeah, Dorothy. Hmm. Dorothy. Yes, I'll pick Dare. Okay, I want you to put your leg behind your head. Okay, I want you to put your leg behind your head. Uh, that's... That's kind of an interesting one. All things considered, you know her profession, so... Well... Just that? Alright. So the extra flexible joints weren't just a bluff. I never bluff. I'm pretty sure I heard something that though. Okay then, Dana. I picked Dare. I dare you to stare honey straight into the eyes for the 10 seconds. I dare you to stare honey straight in the eyes for 10 seconds. Hmm? Sure. Um. Could we stop? Seven seconds. And done. Okay then, dog. Yes, challenge me. Chase your tail. But only make three spins. No more, no less. Uh, mm. Alright! Done. That was four. And now? Two. <laughs> That was three. Good job. All right. Hey, Jay, pick one. Dare. I dare you to call me a good boy. Good boy. Yeah! I'm getting hungry. You know, Alma hasn't really done anything this entire game. Let's go with Alma. Okay, Alma, truth or dare? No one is picking truth. <laughs> no one wants to reveal anything. All right. Hmm. There. Then I dare you to call Gil by his real name. Gillian. So you can actually do it. Of course I can. But messing with Dilbert is more fun. Well then, Dorothy, truth or dare? I'll pick truth. Do you have any dreams you'd want to eventually fulfill? Well, this might sound silly, but I want to work with kids. Okay, wait, wait. Knowing your line of work, that could be very bad. What do you mean you want to work with kids? Oh? I have a friend that works in an orphanage. I'll help her from time to time. Okay. All right, that makes way more sense. I have a friend that works in an orphanage. I help her from time to time. I find it so much fun to work with kids. I can't explain why. If I had to pick another job, I think it's something I want to eventually try. That'd be it. Teacher, nurse, pediatrician, something like that. That wasn't an answer I expected. Me neither. What are you implying? Okay, hey John, pick. Um, dare. I dare you to say something nice about all of us playing. Well, uh... You know, I'm a pretty cheerful girl, Dorothy. Of course I am! Chief... Well, I pretty much owe you everything for giving my life any semblance of order. Of course you do! Alma... You can be a really caring person. Can be. And Jill... You're a pretty smart girl. 
wonder if that's true. So is no one going to say anything nice about him in return? What is there to say? He's one of the nicest and most responsible guys I've met. The kind of gets you talking through the expression of sincere... The kind that gets you talking through an expression of sincere interest. The kind of guy that will go the extra mile even when asked not to. You could always say that more frequently, you know? Uh, a bell? Food's re- mm. Food's ready. Finally! Mm. Let's go. You guys go ahead. A little quick smoke outside. Careful. Ooh. Back through there, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey. Yeah, I'll... I mean, hello. You lay for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. You leaving already? Yeah. Technically, we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. Well, I just got a message about Diana's making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, what have you been doing? Fine, I guess. Well, this has helped keep my mind off things for a while. Is it weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? As Kat Yusha, as Kat Yusha or any of the old literature maidens whose spouse went to war types. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to war. I guess. Well, although the circumstances make me not want to go, I've got to go. Careful out there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You should take the chance to spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Yep, she's right. Hey, Jill's back! Nice. Um... Is that the moon, or...? Is there a hole in it? What am I dealing with here? Hmm. Bunch of blinking red lights. Huh. Probably the satellite thing they were talking about. So do I do something here or like... It's a cutscene. Yep, apparently it is. I can't tell if the game is loading slowly because of my computer or if it's just doing that artistically. Chapter 3. Okay, we're on Chapter 3, ladies and gentlemen. Dulce. Who knows, maybe I'll finish this, this stream. Rent is due on the 30th, please make sure that your account has the necessary $10,000 or you'll be evicted. Well, shit. And we need to buy more stuff to keep Jill from getting distracted! Oh no! Shit. Alex Doll's beard. Three fifty dollars. Ah, oh, no, we got like a fourth of what we need. God damn it. You've been using that hoodie a lot lately. You've been using that hoodie a lot lately. Shut up. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see. Danger, you model warrior returns to TV. Julianne is old and busted. Huh. Oh yeah, this is that thing where she was, um... Mad about, like, that show that she kept getting picked on for liking. Because she had the same name as them. Which City Olympics, Street Race, you wouldn't believe what happens in this cartoon. 
Hmm. Touch Fluffy Tail. She wants to touch his tail. Oh, that's funny. I like that. Let's just go to work. Monday, December 26th. Let's get a lot of money today, everyone, because holy shit, we are floundering. Uh, evening. Hey, Jew. Gills in the back sorting and... Gills in the back sorting an ingredients shipment, and I got things to do. The dog's in charge, okay? Bye. Wait, what? Wait, the dog what? Okay, first order. Pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge and I want you to pet me. Maybe I should, um, actually change out the music at some point. But I feel like I've gone so long in the game that I might as well not do that. So I'm not going to do that. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Jay! Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. Won't. Will. You called? He said Will, not Gil. Ah. Wait, who the hell is Will? Nobody! Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no Will! You need me to psych you up then? Shut up! <laughs> oh, that's that's comedy at its finest right there. That's actual, like, amazing writing. Who? Mm -mm. Who? Me or Will? <laughs> You go back to whatever you were doing. Alright. And you... Stand by. Leave you pet me. Go! What the fuck just happened? Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Valha... Welcome to Valha... Ah, uh, fucking Virgilio. Virgilio? Why do you sound so weird? Virgilio? Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with the... Bombastic soliloquy. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know? I don't, because I'm the same on and off camera, for better or worse. It's worse. It is, it's absolutely, yeah, it's worse. So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? I guess. Would you mind getting me a bleeding Jane? Sure. Virgilio's being weird. One. One, two, three. One, two, three. Blended. And nothing else. All right. Blend, 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 blend. Will it blend? Yes, it will. Leading Jane. Ooh, I need some water. Yes, this is just the thing. So tired of putting on an act? Care to explain? It's a long story, and I'd honestly rather not talk about it right now. Yeah, fair enough. What made you change your mind, though? What made you change your mind, though? What made you change your mind, though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The Papa's Buffoon Act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Why, because you're the Riddler? Safer? Safer? There's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait. That was your way of avoiding suspicion? 
Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. You do know how weird that sounds, right? You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You try not to raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Eh? I mean, you might be right if I was talking about hold up. You might be right if I was talking about hiding myself. I mean, you might be right if I was talking about hiding myself. I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. Okay, that's kind of interesting then. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I become harder to read, giving me yet another layer of enigma. I... Um... Huh. Well, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your plan. I just dismissed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Hmm. Say, can you get me something spicy? Sure. Type, uh, no, flavor. Spicy is apparently a flavor, technically. I could give him another bleeding chain. Uh... Sure, why not? One, two, three, one, one, two, three, all right. And go. Bleed, Jane. Bleed, Jane. Bleed. Here. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? But spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Yeah, what's toxic for us might not be toxic for other creatures. Do you like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. That neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with a passion. Do you like it? Lots. Not only in regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way a mild or slight spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue the dream. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Well, let me know if you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. No. I haven't had curry in ages now. Hey, bartender. Call me Joe. I wanted to apologize. Hmm? You put up with me all this time without lashing out. Except for that one time she kinda did. I should apologize for my behavior and thank you for all that. Uh, don't worry. I actually feel like I was too rude to you last time you came. And granted, you came at a really bad time, but... I should be the one apologizing. You're a client, after all. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that no one else had violently lashed out at me yet. You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your real name? It might be, it might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities in sordid pests. Gil, Jamie, you... Um, did you say something? I'm just rambling. Pay me no mind. How did I think about it? How did you find this bar? I was avoiding some chaps and came to this alley. Huh. Again. Uh, again? In my time, I've heard avoided people and then. Uh, in my time here, I've heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. Hmm. You're not helping. 
the expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law, though. We've, yeah, we've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because the salesman is a more active predator? I don't know. A troublesome part of the city, right? A troublesome part of the city right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. I'm sorry, I should stop rambling. I'm sorry, I should... Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm a sort of criminal, though? Like I said, you're not helping. Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, can I get something bitter here? On it. Bitter. I was really hoping the uh, Bleeding Jane would be on there so I could just give him another Bleeding Jane. Let's see, Grizzly Temple. Hmm. Actually, I don't make that one too much. Sure, why not? Uh, Grizzly Temple. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Blended. Hmm? Oh, wrong. I put the wrong thing in. Hold on. Reset. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, one. Nope. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. There we go. Blend that. Shove it in your cake hole. And Grizz Trumple. Here. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it may sound from a smoking bartender, uh, no, I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That bandage jewel that came here last time. What about her? I feel like I've met her before. I've been thinking a lot, but just can't put but I've been thinking a lot, but can't put my finger on it. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. It's just usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. Uh... And here we are, another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Got punch. Okay. I mean, it's not that silent if he just ordered. G for gut punch. One, two, three, four, five. One. You know what, he's probably... Probably needs a little bit of a stiff drink from this one. He seems kind of worried. All right. Gut punch. Here. Oh, you got it right. So, what's up now? A bit of holiday blues, you could say. So, you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You're more like a Festivus kind of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? Oh, yeah, yeah, the Seinfeld jokes. I actually do kind of like that joke, it's funny. But, yeah. Well, Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that is Mega Christmas. And, you know, cheapskate. If you have something, if you have something to say, say it. If you have something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although now that I think about it, the holiday blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just the season. The season of consumers craze. Think of Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. The 
then came that turbo male guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. Turbo male? That can't be his ring name. It is. Really? Such a tacky name was accepted? His partner was Buster Master and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed as Santa. I knew there was a wrestler that dressed as Santa every year. I also knew that the guy. Wait, did Jill say that? Yeah. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed as Santa every year. I also know that the guy became insanely popular and the sun got out of control. And of course, that's part of that. That's the part everyone sings about. Santa became Nega Santa thanks to the Redmond family. That's Nega with an E. I want to clarify. Ugh. Man, I'm starting to lose my actual voice. Huh. Nega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa, renaming the holiday to Mega Christmas. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. Blah. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail? Yep. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. And you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? No, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind that is so lame and bland that they all... The kind that's so lame and bland that they can only talk about how they're better 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 Anything else I can get for you? Let me a fringe weaver, will you? Sure. Let's get him a fringe weaver. Fringe weaver, one. Wow, he, he was really trying to load up on the alcohol. Aged and mixed. Fringe weaver. Here. Right, thanks. So, any issues with the city lately? What's the word in the streets? Shouldn't I be asking that? Nothing new, really. The lynchings of White Knight stopped, so there's that. Really? Something about the armor. I haven't got much on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. Good to hear. Have any, other, uh, have any other details about the attack emerged yet? All records of whatever happened there have been long deleted. Security cam, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened there, it's become even more of a mystery now. I wonder if Say plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Say went there in the first? Uh, does anyone know if Say went there in the first place? The wiping of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey, bartender. You okay? I'm sorry you got distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's the odd... There's the odd silly rumor here and there. Like the vending machines, tases malfunctioning and applying more strength. Or that the writer of the last rain in the world is actually living here as a brain in the jar. Hmm. Those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might not hold that one last piece of info you need. Crackheads might hold that one last piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. I see. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay then, um... But... 
No, wait, she's out. Hey, Gil, you there? Yeah, taking your break? Let me know if someone comes in. All right. I'm not even gonna bother saving because I kind of want to keep some of the, um... Some of the, uh, save slots left because I've got like three or four left and it's not gonna be that many streams. Or it's not gonna be like... Too many more saves that I can actually do at this point. Things are pretty quiet outside. Still of great taste, still not gonna change the music. Alright. Oh, hey, this girl whose his voice I forgot how to do. Jill? Huh, Miss Kim. Just call me Kim. It sounds weird to be called Miss. You seem to be in a good mood. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Okay. All mixed and beer. Beer. Here. Thanks. So, how have you been doing? Pretty good, actually. My hair stopped falling out, my appetite is coming back. I hadn't realized just how much the newspaper was weighing on me until I quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I actually felt like I achieved a victory. Like, like I got a hold of my own life. So nice to hear. Oh yeah, I'll start bartender training in January too. Huh, really? Yeah, I did some research and it sounded cool. BTC gives you many benefits, so it sounds like a good thing to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. It'll give me the time to think on the next course of action. It'll give me time to think on the next course of action. A bit of advice. Don't go for BTC housing plans until you absolutely have to. Unless you absolutely have to. You have to sign a contract for at least five years of service with a cut in pay and tips. I was gonna go for one. I was gonna go for that one, but I backed down at the last minute. I was gonna go for that one, but I backed down a bit at the last minute. How do you back down a bit? Well, I took the chance with the. Well, I took the chance when the VTC found me an apartment. And instead of signing with the. And instead of signing the VTC contract, I just asked for a regular one. I have no idea how I got away with that one. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England, they are. They have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes where they have the means to give discounted rooms to employees. Yeah. Apartment complexes where they have the means to give discounted rooms to employees. In this city, Realty Realty Nuo holds an unspoken real estate monopoly. So BTC can. So, BTC can't easily offer such promises. Oh. Reality Nua is a bit weird as far as companies go. Their name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around a certain ex- The name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. But the truth is that Reality Nua- But the truth is that Realty Nua has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. Really? I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build up upon plots of land that everyone gave up on. They became a big name as far as real estate goes. But in reality, the company itself has actually done less than you'd think over the years. Most of the time, they're cashing in on their established properties or letting others work with them. I believe in the last 10 years or so, they've only started around three or four new projects. And they're all expansions of their already established ones. You seem to know a lot about it. Nah, I've just read a lot about it over time, especially after hearing my landlord ramble about them. Nah, I've just read about it. Nah, I've just read a lot about it over time, especially after hearing my landlord ramble about them. I think it's all par for the course for real estate companies, really. But it's true that when you hear a name so much, you expect something. I don't know, different. I had enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. 
Can I get you anything else? Let's try a sugar rush. Okay. Sugar rush. I feel like I've been serving them a lot lately. I feel like I've been serving. I feel like I've been serving them a lot lately. One, two, one. Hmm. You know, to celebrate her being happy as drunk as possible. Sure, all mixed done. Sugar rush. There you go. Here you go. Yeah! Actually, Jill, I came here today to thank you. Me? Yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked, I was tired. I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. Not to mention you helped me cool down and your boss saved me. And... I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you all that before this year ended. I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Hmm. Much appreciated, thanks. But anyways... How are you doing? Last time you were a bit... off. I'm better now. Thanks a lot. I'm glad to hear. It was weird to see you like that. I always felt like you were putting up a cool bartender act. It, it did? You don't? I don't. Are you sure? What you saw as a cool bartender act is what everyone else has described as being cold. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same thing, but... Cold and cool do mean the same, but... Nah, I don't try to put up with that act. Sorry to disillusion you. I'm too much of a mess to do such a thing. I'm too much of a mess to do such a thing. Huh. Disappointed? I'm surprised, actually. What led me to believe that you were putting on an act? And more importantly, how can I make use of it when I get assigned to a bar? I must investigate further. I must investigate further. Ah, good luck with that. Ah, good luck with that. Say... Let's try something bubbly now. Alright. Alright. Bubbly. Bubbly is a flavor somehow. Uh... Ooh. Frothy water sounds kind of funny. One. 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 Age. Mix. Frothy water. Here. Thanks. Hey, Jill, I'm gonna need some ice. Ah, boss. Boss? Oh, I know you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. All right, I'm gonna try to be a good actor for a second there. All right, blah. Thank you, thank you. Hey, nice to see you're fine. I'm more than fine. I'm alive, I'm here. I avoided my biggest mistake in life thanks to your timely intervention. I don't know what overcame me. I just felt like, like, like everything was shouting. I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like... Like... Thank you. Don't even mention it. I just did what I felt was right. Hey, Jill, ice please. Right. Are you all right? Did you seek help? I know a couple people that could help you. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple of times, but he says I'm okay. It's been... Like... Two weeks since the last time we spoke. Or the first time. I just... Something overcame me, but you intervened and... I... I don't know what to say. You already said thank you. Seeing that you're fine is more than enough for me. I should have come to thank you earlier. I owe you that, at least. Don't worry, just go out and be happy. You have a second chance, so use it as best you can. 
I will. I'll be leaving. Happy New Year, Jill. And thank you again. Please come again. So... A couple of weeks ago, I read some news about a woman saving a suicidal girl. Catching her midair. Would you know something about that, boss? Maybe. Maybe not. Whoever it was probably just did it because it was the right thing to do. Feeling lonely? That voice. Oh, it's, um... Someone... New... I think? Have I given any character like a normal English accent? Because I feel like I have, but I don't know. Normal English, normal English. Are there more birds? Are there any birds? Hello. Hey, Joe. Long time no see. Really long time no see. Seriously, it feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So, I just waited in the background until the tension wore off a bit. Earth to Joe, I'm talking to you here. If I ignore her, she'll leave. I'm not an unfathomable sense of dread. I'm not an unfathomable sense of dread. You can't just ignore me, you know. Julianne Stingray, I'm talking to you. Calm down. Don't fall for her taunts. How did she know my full name, though? I thought your full name was Julianne Natalie Stingray. Or did you legally remove the Natalie? My man, is she reading my thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle of the screen. Hard not to see them, actually. Alright, that's it. I'm going crazy. That's such a self-centered way to see the world. You assume that you're crazy because you can't accept this world could be weirder than you think. This world is amazing because of the things you just can't explain. Also, this girl's straight up breaking the fourth wall right now and I have no idea what's going on. And just because you only experience- And just because only you experience something doesn't mean it's a lie or that you're crazy. I mean, just look at ASMR. <laughs> yeah, ASMR is one of those things I just don't really understand, to be honest. I just- I can't listen to it. I can't do it. Can't listen to it. Don't like it. Ah, oh, it's just not up to what I think is good. You know, it's like, it's just, it's difficult. You acknowledged me. Shit. That's good. I want, I'm not serving you anything. But, but why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. Drinks were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but that didn't set... Uh, but that set any and all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I was gonna buy some curry with the money I'd put up for those drinks. Yeah, dog duty done. I know we have slow days, but for God's sake... You okay? You look, uh... Angry. I'm fine. Good job out there. I'm back. Uh, boss, what happened? We didn't got short. At least I drank the has... The hasses... Hassy... The, the bottles. Are you okay? You look distraught. I'm fine. They really can't see you. I mean, you're right in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt. Hmm. That's a shot. Why? Just... 
Why? Just... Why? To annoy people... Mm. To annoy people, of course. To annoy people, of course. Honestly, I don't think jeans under a skirt are that bad, but like... It really depends on like... What color the rest of the outfit is. Or really, the entire outfit, I should say. Is that a new trend? What does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should call you out. But they can't bring themselves to do it. Because it's not that wrong. There are things like spats, after all. It's uncannily right, not all that wrong, and they can't stop staring. Not like anyone other than me could see it, though. They could see it if they wanted to. Jill, you're making an awful lot of faces there. You okay? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Hmm. Man, I miss not being crazy. Uh, boss, I'm leaving early today. And you stay here. Who stays where? Oh, crap, did I just... You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voices. I... Um, thought I saw one of the dogs near the counter. Thought I saw one of the dogs near the counter. Sorry. Oh, okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure, thanks for taking care of the port. What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. That's not what I... It, whatever. Hmm. Okay, 3940. We have a few more days to raise all the money we need, and we're probably gonna have to buy some stuff. Yikes. Rent is due on the 30th. One night of the ID statues. Buying a poster will get her prevent her from getting too distracted. Hmm. There's cats in the heats outside. The there are cats in heat outside. I'd have blue balls, if I still had any. Shop. Night of the ID Snatchers, or whatever. Let me see. Where would that be? Movie poster. Ah, I see. Very well. Off to work. The 27th, I think. Hmm. Evening. Hey, Jill, let's have a New Year's party this Sunday. Hmm. Let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Isn't that a bit soon? Why? Did someone famous get killed at a New Year's party? No, I mean... Never mind. Sure. <sighs> Sure, I'm in for it. Great. And Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey. N no, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client of his to the station. He should be back any second. Back. See? So, you coming to the New Year's party too, Gil? So, you coming to the New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do, so, uh... Told you. You're depressing people. Oh, yeah, I, the kid from the other day... Gabby, I think you called her, asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. A note? Gabby... Let's see. First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior before. I was still hurt by my sister's death, and it wasn't fair to take all the- I was still hurt by my sister's death, and it wasn't fair to take out all the stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. And so, it feels weird to ask this of you after how I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up, to chat for a while, to do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about. The fear that drove you to a fight with my sister. 
I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I'll understand. But please, I really want to talk to you. Gabby. Wow, that girl has a big vocabulary. She was always a smart one. Mm -hmm. The 31st is written in different handwriting. Oh yeah, she asked me when you would be here and relatively free. So I told her about the party. I also assumed you'd say yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea now that I think about it. B boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? Because I really don't want to face Gabby again. Now it's coming back to me. It drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years. Fear and shame. Shame because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake. It's painful to face your mistakes. And fear of what they might say. With Lenora, we never broke up formally, so I was always afraid that if we were to meet again, she'd break up with me. And I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Lenora was in the right to break up with me, and Gabby is in the right to hate me. But I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll never tell me that and... Jill, you idiot! <laughs> We're thinking backwards! Did the letter say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Didn't you just say to Armitage that you hated feeling like that? Armitage? City hacker. Alma, right, yeah. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister. But now you have a chance to make amends. And not only that, you have us watching your back. So I want you to think about this. One day of fear or a lifetime filled with regret. Which one do you pick? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I hated feeling like that. I won't run away this time. I won't run away this time. Good. Because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. Hey, boss. Thanks. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Anyways, let's start the day. And my music taste is still top tier and we're still going on. Water. to mix drinks and change lives. Seriously, bleh. Seriously though, it's the second note that stirred such feelings in me. Second one? Two weeks ago I got another note in the mail. This one is from Lenore. Was that the envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one for you, might as well face the other. Maybe. Don't push your chief. I'm not. I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. Keep it up, Joe. Thanks. Happy holidays! Someone's happy. Someone's happy. We have the party for the staff and children. We held a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the faces of those kids receiving gifts. Now being that Santa suit at the last minute the other day was totally worth it. Hm. Now being that Santa suit at the last minute the other day was totally worth it. Was totally worth it. The Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Sorry for that, um, outburst. Why? You looked so happy, I felt happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Um... Anyway, can you get me a Cobalt Velvet, please? Sure. Cobalt Velvet. Cobalt Velvet sounds like the name of a, um, an anime character. Like the villain of the light novel series. Hmm. Alright, on the rocks, mixed on. Car blood vertebra. Here. Here. Thanks. Thanks. Are you meeting with Save today? She should be here in a bit. She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted to do. She told me she wanted to drink here, and since I was coming here too... Sadly, I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. How's she been lately? She's better. Her wounds have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching out her bandages so often. If only she stopped scratching out her bandages so often. What about her eye? I? Oh, hers. Sorry. It'll take longer to heal, but as long as she keeps... It'll take longer to heal, but as long as it's kept clean, there should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't show it, but she's had depressive bouts from time to time. And who can blame her? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She was used as the, the job she loves no the job she loved no longer exists. She was used as the no. The job she loves no longer exists. She was used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will make her go back to my her no. I'm afraid it will all make her go back to her old ways. Old ways? There was a rough spot when Say was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close. Then, her biological father, who was an asshole, showed up. And the teachers at her school didn't help. Say is not a slow learner by any means, but her way of learning stuff is... different. I kind of got that from talking to her. She needs equivalences to things she knows. You need to get a bit in her mindset. Oh yeah, I kinda... I think that's the right way to teach, is by relating it to stuff people know. And it's a very good way to... kinda show that somehow, like... I think a sign of a really, like, truly intelligent teacher is one who's able to adapt what they know to what other people know. Once you get this, she's a fast learner. But schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. I would have suggested a special course somewhere else, but Seth would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled as special or different. Anyway, Say was totally different during that period. <laughs> Foul mouths, short fused, always frowning. Total opposite of how she is nowadays. From time to time, I see that old look cross her face and again. From time to time, I see that old look cross her face. And it scares me. You're comparing her to her teen self, though. People mature. I just realized this an hour in, but the game is probably at least a little too loud. There we go. That's probably fine. Hmm. Maybe she'll show so Maybe she'll so Maybe she'll show signs from time to time, but I bet Say knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Get me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. 
Golden Sweet. I think I've heard that one before. I think I've heard that one before. Sugar Rush? Nope. Uh, nope. Asian. Why are they all aged and mixed? On the rocks and blended. Gotcha. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. One. Two. Yep, that's right. On the rocks. Blended. Time to blend. All right. Hmm? See, on the rocks. Oh, I... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two. All right. There we actually go. There's the actual recipe. Moon Blast. Here. Thanks. Thanks. This is the kind of stuff Say asks for, you know? Now that you mention it. So, I think it's Say's family situation isn't exactly fine and dandy, huh? It's a mess they've tried to fix over time, and I'm glad to say they've actually done it. Say's mom had a really abusive relationship with Say's biological father. Sadly, like many women in the... the Sadly, like many women in that situation, she tried to just... Sadly, like many women in that situation, she just tried to justify his actions. But apparently, things got pretty nasty when Say's mom, Miss Emmy, got pregnant. At that point, she had... an epiphany, one could say. She didn't want that guy to raise her child, so she finally sought help. Things weren't so easy, though. Before the authorities could take her, before the authorities could take him away, Miss Emmy got a serious beating from him. She still uses a cane to walk, thanks to that. She still uses a cane to walk, thanks to that. She moved here. Say was born. She moved here. Say was born. Started. She started her veterinary clinic. So did he come back? He was drunk and couldn't find any drugs, so he made it to the city. He caused a ruckus for a couple of days until Say managed to scare him off. How? She beat him to near death. Three times. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... Oh, don't worry. I laugh too. The dramatic irony there is delicious. I've been wondering... Can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Hmm? I mean, the streets are not exactly safe. And a cat boomer is sure to be a target. And a cat boomer is sure to become a target. Well, I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is... Comfier. Come again? Hmm. Sure, Uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too... sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of people. You feel there's a... You feel there are people living. I especially like going to a busy food stand. I feel the warmth there that Uptown doesn't have. It is all... It's also easier to talk to people. You finally came. Welcome. If you try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they are also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice here, though. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Mix that too. But I just want one. I'm asking for one for me and adding another two. Mm. I'm asking for one for me, adding another one. Mm. I'm asking for one for me, adding one to your order. Oh, that. Right. 
Beers. Beers are one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Mix done. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Four. Mix done. Serve. Here. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Say, you should have seen the kids after you left. They were all playing with the toys you picked. You nailed it again this year. They were all asking, Versailles, Versailles. I thought they were saying Versailles at best, but no. Why do they call you just say when they call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. I don't look that old. I don't look that old. Wait, wait, I missed the line. Wait. I don't look that old. I don't look that old. <laughs> don't worry. They still like you. <sighs> okay, I'm getting kind of tired, but we're going to keep going a little bit. Hmm. Sorry I, sorry I had to leave, but Mom worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, there were fireworks and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. The little guy managed to get his head and paw inside before getting stuck. And it was plastic so they couldn't just try to break it. That's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Uh, time for some rib cracking ASMR. Unfortunately, my ribs ain't cracking, so that'll be have to be canceled. Yeah. Due to technical difficulties in my ribs not cracking, the ASMR rib cracking will have to be canceled. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh yeah. We'll have a New Year's party this Saturday if you want to come. Sure, it's better than depressing myself with Dad's woman. Sure, it's better than depressing myself with Dad's woman. I'll be here. Bye, Jill. Bye, say. Careful. Please come again. You want to come too? I'd love to. I'll also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Pretty nice. We played Truth or Dare. Had some fun, broke some glasses, ate lots and lots of food. Seriously. Looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you th Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yeah. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Okay. Something classy, per se. Classy. Classy. Not classic. Classy. Um... Let's go with a mercury blast. Why not? This is pretty classy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, two. And then... On the rocks. Now we wait for the blending. Blend, blend, blend. Will it blend? It will, because it has to. Because the game works like... Blah, 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 and done. Alright. Something classy. Yep, this is the thing. Stella came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Oh, yeah. Well, you know. Her birthday is actually the 25th. Really? There's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got it into her head that being born on the... She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got it into her head that by being born on the 25th, she was the spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa. That made her start giving out gifts like crazy. She got over it, but the gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation? Well, the story says that Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit.
And that Mega Santa was reborn as a manifestation of the Christmas spirit. She thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. <laughs> that girl was delusional as a kid. That girl was delusional as a kid. Huh. And speaking of things you did when you were young, Stella mentioned she's worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period when you were angry or something? Oh, that. It's sweet that she's worried, but I won't go back to those days just like that, though. Even if I face the same situation, I'm more mature, you know? I'm not a teen anymore. I expected as much. I told her as much. Hey, can you get me- Hey, can you get me something bubbly? Sure. Something bubbly for a bubbly girl. Um... Fringe Weaver, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Age and mix. Fring Weaver. Here. Bubbly, bubbly. Hey, Jill, this might seem a bit random, but... Do you remember the first time I came here? Yeah, you're the second white knight I've ever served. Yeah, you're the second white knight I've served. I still re I remember. Why? Precisely because of that. I've been meaning to ask you about that story. How was your other experience with the knight? How was your other experience with the white knight? Getting late for me. Yeah. I mean, then again, I guess I always stream around this time, so it's not like I'm unaccustomed to late stuff, but like, it's getting pretty late at night for me, so I probably need to wrap this up soon. Maybe the next checkpoint, who knows. If I had to put it simply, the total opposite of you. Oh? She came here as part of her work. Looking for information or some case. Looking for information on some case. I went through the motions, offering her a drink and all that, but she came only for her job. At first, I thought she was just another private eye, but she showed me her badge and all. What kind of case was it? Hmm. I wouldn't know. She never told me, but she asked if I saw some people. She got, a pretty, she got pretty intense when I told her I had no idea who she was talking about. I suggested she ask the vending machines outside, and they told her the suspect climbed on them. She got her info when she left. Pretty professional, if a bit intimidating. She seemed perpetually invested in the case, though. The way she lost her cool was... suspicious. Stretching. Mm. You seem to be pretty good at reading people, Jill. It makes me kind of jealous. Nah, I'm not good at that. It's just a coincidence that I noticed it. But you noticed it. I'm not good at reading people. Even if the cue was thrown in my face, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'm sure you can compensate with another skill. Any particular reason you asked me about that event? Any particular reason you asked me about that event? Not really. I just found the fact that I was the only other white knight you've served... weird. I mean, really? Just two? Oh, weird, I know. I spent most of my life with almost no interactions with white knights until I met you. Means you've had a nice life then. That sounded creepier than I thought. A bit, yeah. I mean, I don't know, I think it was a pretty clear thing of like, well, you know, if you haven't had a lot of problems dealing with stuff to the point where you need white knights, I think that's a good life. So I think, I don't know, I'd say that was mostly like a, a nice thing to say. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. 
Please come again. I'll go take my break, y'all. Sure. Alrighty then, everybody. Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. That is it for this stream. I have been your favorite VTuber Android Arrowhead here. Tomorrow I'll be back with more of The Last of Us, which I am very much enjoying. And it's the next PlayStation game on my list. Second one I played this week where I'm a father character trying to escort a young girl through a... Not a young girl, but a young child through a hell-ish landscape. But now we've got friends there. So there's that. Either way, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a lovely morning, day, or evening. And goodbye from our... Oh, yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. That is very important to me. Why do I keep winking? Stop that. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Have a lovely morning, day, or evening. And goodbye for now.